hello. Uh, could you introduce yourself, please? Sure. My name is Peter Finley. I'm the director of Infowear for Audience. And I'm here in Ottawa for our uh, premiere in the nation's capital. And this is my brother, John, who's the composer of the music. Hi, John. Highly hello. available hello. composer. Excellent. Yeah. Um, so, basically, tell me a bit about the film. <laughs> well, the film is kind of like a global look at the failure of the war on drugs, specifically looking at the uh, opium and heroin traffic internationally, but also looking at the issue of addiction. So, uh, it's a kind of a multi-headed monster. We started off looking, uh, initially the idea was to look at, you know, why uh, opium and heroin have been the source of such grief and, and conflict in the war globally. Uh, 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 yeah, global conflict and, and suffering, and, and we ended up expanding the film significantly to include issues of addiction and uh, and uh, alternatives to the more kind of hardline prohibitionist policies that have been in place in the West for the last hundred years or so. So we wanted to have a film that looked at the looked at some issues, but also offered some alternatives. Excellent. And what sort of reception have you gotten about the film thus far? Very positive. Uh, you know, it's been a real mixed audience. This is a film that's you know not meant for experts, so it's been aimed at a broad uh, audience. And uh, so far, quite favorable. We've had screenings in Vancouver, Toronto, now in Ottawa. We're going to have screenings probably in Washington, uh, in possibly as far afield as Scotland. So uh, so far, we're really excited. We actually just recently found out that we're going to be. Uh, show at least an excerpt film to be shown on the uh, PBS network down in the States, which is a big coup for us because mm -hmm. you know getting into the American market uh, is really the gold standard for documentaries and for anything in the media if you want the message to be heard. And have you encountered any sort of controversy yet? Uh, I wouldn't say a specific controversy, only a general controversy in the sense that uh, you know, people have a lot of strong moral positions against drugs, and sometimes the idea of uh, having an alternative perspective on it, just in general, raises some hackles. So, uh, you know, some people just say the idea of, of, uh, of a different perspective gets them agitated. So there's always that to encounter. But I think when people look at the film in its entirety uh, and the kind of complicated and uh, interlaced, you know, narratives that we have in the film, it presents a different way of looking at things. Hopefully. And this is a bit of an uh, abstract question, but what does sensible drug policy mean to you? Well, sensible drug policy to me means not penalizing people who are, are using drugs, because generally people who are, are using or addicted to drugs are, are doing it for uh, reasons that you know speak to issues of marginalization and poverty in many instances, lack of opportunity, those kinds of things. So to be uh, dealing with by further uh, penalizing people to me just is nonsensical. I think it's proven to be ineffective anyway. So. And has your views on drugs or opium or any sort of thing changed throughout making this film? Uh, not, not in particular. I've always been fairly liberal when it comes to drug related things. I think what's changed is that I recognize that now uh, a lot of drug use uh, has deep historic and cultural roots that go beyond anything we know in the West. I mean, we think of drug use primarily as a phenomenon of the 60s, I think, really. But as you see in the film, it's uh, got uh, I, it's got longer historical roots than that and, and cultural roots that, you know, uh, many uh, cultures and many, uh, many, uh, you know, many historical periods have been you know, widely used and, and without controversy. So you'll, you'll see in the film. Well, we're all really excited about it. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad you could come.